The number of cases of COVID-19 being reported has seen a considerable increase in the last week after a lull of several months. Does this mean the dreaded second wave of COVID-19 is here? I'm Suraksha and in this week's Coping with Coronavirus, we will try to answer the question, has the second wave of coronavirus begun and whether the foreign strains are responsible for it? In the last one week, there has been an increase in the number of COVID-19 cases reported in the country with Maharashtra and Kerala contributing almost 70% of total new cases. At the time of this recording, 90% of new cases are being reported from these seven states alone, which includes Karnataka. In response, the Karnataka government has taken a series of steps to mitigate the effects of rising numbers. The state has closed its borders with Kerala except in four places. At these check posts, travellers will have to present negative RT-PCR test reports not older than 72 hours. Same goes for those arriving from Maharashtra. In Delhi, in fact, apart from these two states, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh and Punjab are also added to the list where travellers from these states have to produce a negative RT-PCR test report. With a spike in new coronavirus cases, the Karnataka government has decided to monitor large gatherings more closely. Marshals have been deployed to enforce COVID guidelines in large events like weddings. Health and Medical Education Minister Dr. K. Sudhakar announced that these new guidelines will be followed strictly, but has dismissed any possibility of reintroducing a lockdown. But what do these new clusters that are popping up in Bengaluru tell us about a second wave that's being speculated? It is very difficult to answer right now. But I would be very disappointed if it is the beginning of a second wave. At the same time, I'm very realistic. This is my personal opinion as an expert. If some cluster events cross a critical point, then we will have a second wave. This is how second wave occurs. A series of cluster events build up. It all depends on how individual citizens take this information and change their behavior. And it also depends on the system, how quickly it acts and how what control measures are. Both are important. With the fourth cluster of COVID cases being reported from Samram Institute of Management Sciences, this speculation has inevitably led to the question whether these new cases are linked to the new strains of coronavirus. Currently, strains from the UK, South Africa and Brazil are spreading across the world, including India. But there is no evidence as of now that they are more dangerous from the existing one. However, when any virus mutates, it is doing so to evade the immune system of the body so that it can spread easily. So, there is a possibility that these three variants variants are more contagious. All three have undergone mutation. But in the UK variant, the spike proteins were mutated. These are the proteins that bind themselves to cells. In South Africa and Brazil variants, the receptor binding domains atop the spike proteins are mutated. That means these can easily bind to the lungs of the human body, according to Director General of ICMR Dr. Balram Bhargava. As per the health ministry, apart from the three strains from the UK, South Africa and Brazil, the Indian strain has also undergone tiny mutations. Mutations named N440K and E484K have been found in Maharashtra, Kerala and Telangana. These new local strains may be two of the 240 different strains across India and can be more dangerous than the original strain. Strains which have emerged from Brazil and South Africa and there is some feeling that we may have uh, some of these strains in our country. These strains have developed what we call an immune escape mechanism. That they have developed a mechanism which are, is able to escape the immune uh, response that the body has developed because of COVID-19. It could be because of previous infection. It could be related to some vaccination. And because of that, they are still able to cause the infection uh, despite having, uh, but despite the body having antibodies either acquired naturally or through the vaccine. Yet, the health ministry has denied any link between the new coronavirus variants and the new cases. In Bengaluru, Nimhans has said that no new coronavirus variants were found in the nursing college cluster. But this result tells only a part of the story as only 14 of the 40 COVID positive samples were found to be suitable for genomic sequencing and only 12 of these genomes could be amplified. Genomic sequencing refers to the mapping of the DNA of an organism like a virus. If a mutation has occurred, it can be detected through the sequencing. However, there needs to be a certain threshold that needs to be met for any sample to be mapped. Not all of the 40 samples collected from the nursing college were able to meet this threshold. Moreover, there is also a shortage of resources to sequence the samples and to compare those with the global variants. 
On Friday, few scientists who have been modeling the epidemiological growth of the virus warned that a new wave might be coming. The R number or the reproductive number which denotes the virus's ability to infect others has crossed 1. First time since September 17, 2020. While the number of new cases rises, it becomes incredibly important for people to be careful and not let their guard down. Phase 2 of the vaccination is set to begin from March 1st when those above 60 years of age and those with comorbidities above the age of 45 can be vaccinated. Meanwhile, wearing of masks and physical distancing are still effective solutions against the new variants too. So until we bring you a new coping with coronavirus story next week, stay safe.